Now to find an efficient way to sort out and protect your comics. No matter what your reasons for starting a collection may be, having a method in place that ensures that your comics are easy to find and to read, as well as retaining their value, can save you a lot of time and money. Others may have their own preferences for brands, products or order, but this is the method that has been designed for the products that we have in store. Ensuring that you're not coming into the store expecting to use a product or tool that we don't have. To start off, lay out the comic or comics that you just bought. They could have come in a box, a bag or just freehand. Then you need to grab some of them, I'd suggest no more than 150 at a time and then place them in a box labeled ready to scan or something along those lines. To build that box, the process is the following. First is the lid. Fold in the sides along the crease, press in the flaps, pinch the back against the flaps, fold over and click in the tabs. And repeat on the other side. Second is the box itself. To assemble, start by spreading it out using the faces as the balancing point. You then need to isolate the end flaps. Once separated, put the box on its top side and push the fold without the flaps in. Fold the two flaps in and hold them there as you bring it down. Hold the bottom in place as you flip it to the right side up. Take the top flap and pull it up. The two flaps then come up and press against the handles. Push the top flap back down and click the handles through. The lid then comes on. The one we use for the ready to scan box is the small magazine box, so we can fit all sizes of comics as well as those that come in large protectors. Now this process carries over to all the boxes that we have in store. Now these different sizes have their own purposes which I'll cover once they come up. Right, line up the comics that you want to be scanned into the box. Making sure they are alternating from back to front. As to make sure that the weight is evenly distributed between the comics when they are being pressed together. Once you're ready to scan boxes getting close to full, you want to begin to slow down and make sure that you aren't trying to force as many comics as you can in because it'll put extra tension on your books. If you don't have enough to fill the box, put something in that will keep those comics standing up straight. We use these book dividers, but anything tall with a bit of weight and support to it will do just fine. With that out of the way, it's time to scan them into your digital database so you can keep track of what you have. There are many programs to use, you can even write it up yourself if you really want to. But the one we use is Comic Base. Once you've sorted out the way that you want to digitally track your comics, build a second small magazine box titled Ready to Sort and Label. Then spread out your arsenal of protection. From left to right, this is everything we have available. Comic dividers, boards, a range of bags, regular, current, silver age, golden age, magazine, board and bag combination, top loaders, as well as a range of suits, displays, hard cases, and of course, mylar. Once the program is all set on your computer, phone, or tablet, set them down with the computer in the middle, scanner or phone in hand, and you're ready to go. For organizing on the computer, take out the comic, click on items and add by barcode, then scan it and get ready to put protection on it. Then just keep this process going until you're ready to click save and you're done. If the comic doesn't have a barcode, then that's when you need to click on the titles button and enter it in manually. Once you find the series you want, click on it and scroll until you find the correct issue and add one to your quantity. If you want to take note of the condition of the comic itself on the program before you put it away, then you can input the variables of the comic to find the grade, then change the condition title to match the outcome. If using the app because you don't have a barcode scanner, you're out and about, or just find it easier, just make sure that your database is saved to the cloud. Once done, move over to the barcode tab and proceed as followed. If no barcode shows, you'll have to manually search just like on the computer. Once you've chosen the way that you want to lock in your comics, it's time to determine what protection you want to use based on its value, whether it be monetary or sentimental. Then place it in the box just like you did for the ready to scan box. This step is pretty self-explanatory and most of the covers are easy to figure out, but here's some tips. For the bags, find a bag that suits the comic. Take a board, put the top of the comic in line with the top of the board and leave a bit hanging out the bottom as you slide it in. And for the mylar, just be sure to take it very slow as to make sure you don't damage the cover. Ready to sort and label box filled? It's time to put these in order within your official boxes for storage. However, before, if you use the app to scan in your comics, make sure that you sync up your database to the one on the computer before moving on any further. Doing so by clicking check for new sales and purchases, then pressing Control F and then enter to find your entire collection. The boxes we use for this stage are the long comic boxes for the regular comics, as well as the long magazine boxes for those that have high value. Take the front book from the box and label or divider the name of that series or whatever category you want to label it by. For the store, we do it by series, but for my own collection, I order by writer. Pair that divider with that book and put it in. For your personal collection, I do the alternating method that was used beforehand, but stores have to do it front ways for convenience. As you work through the rest of the box, keep swapping and changing the order and quantity of the series or other category until it matches with what is written on the screen. As you keep on going through your collection and the boxes become more full, 
that's when you build another one and keep moving the books back. Once your collection is completely in the order that you want, and you've edited and double checked all the necessary information about the comics such as condition and cost, you can now mass print identification labels and price tags if you so wish. For scans after the initial collection is input, we usually print these off and put them on their protectors just after we scan them so we don't have to bother scrolling or searching back through the program. As for storing these boxes once you're done, in the store we put the lids on then lay them out in order from left to right, however you may not have that much free space. So we'd suggest stacking them in a Jenga formation with a piece of wood between the layers. The most important thing when putting them into storage is the location. You need to make sure that they are in a livable area that isn't too dry, humid or open to bugs. And that's our way to organise comics. It is a method that is easily repeatable, fast when dealing with large quantities of books and allows us to get as much information from the book as possible. The only problem we have is once the collection gets bigger and we find a new series that goes in the middle, we have to start moving all the comics back. If you have any tips of your own or your own method that helps avoid this, feel free to let us know in the comments. More information about Comic Base can be found on their website and their YouTube channel, which I'll link down below. We'll also be breaking down all the comic products in further detail in future videos, because this is just the surface level. Other than that, I hope this helps you organize and become less annoying and far more efficient. Take care.